Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Thomas Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. When you start rapping like that. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers that notification gang, etc. etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Click and blend. Follow me on Instagram, Vada underscore fly. Tell you my mindset. Hi. Hey, rock! First of all, salute to Iconic Bears uh, Clothing Company, you know what I'm saying? They sent me this joint right here. It's the Bear Joint with the Kobe on it. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Iconic Bears. www.iconicbears.com. They got some dope gear, some dope clothes in there. Salute to all of the people who own different merchandise and things out there. Y'all be wanting to holler. Hit me up on IG, Vada underscore Fly, or on Twitter, you know what I'm saying? When I get your merch, you know what I'm saying? I rock it in the joints and all of that. You know, brolic don't come with it, though. The brolic don't come with it. You gotta work for that. <laughs> Yo, Tay Rock versus Vixen the Assassin. Sue Surf. Listen, before we even start this, I know it's gonna be a lot of questions. Where's Surf? What the happened to Surf? Why is Surf not battling Vixen? I got one answer I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if you ask me, I'll tell you what I think. I'll tell you what I know. Um, what I know is that Surf is not battling Vixen. Rock has been tagged as the last minute replacement. Um, he did this before. He's been in this position before with the Loaded Hollows. Him and Chess prepared in seven days for the shell casings. I'm from Cortland Ave. I'm from Cortland Ave. Rock has prepared short notice for people before. Um, I will say that. Uh, preparing short notice is not easy. There's only very few MCs who could do it at the highest level. Now, there's some people who will just put some shit together, go out there, and lose. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about being prepared three rounds down and ready to go in seven to 14 days. Uh, Tay Rock is one. He has been talking some. I did speak to him earlier, you know what I'm saying, and asked him, would he be ready and would he be prepared? He is prepared. He's ready to go right now. So, quite obviously, he's had... A little advanced notice. I mean, I'm sure she's had some notice too. He jumped on Twitter. He said, ain't nothing personal about this, shorty nice, but I'm coming for a clean kill. Two weeks notice. Watch this Drax back. And, um, you know, he's basically saying that he's back and he's going to be ready to go. She's going to be ready to go too. You know what I'm saying? Like I told, I said in, this, in the last joint when I was talking about Surf versus Vixen, I said, and if you watch back, that... I thought this was a very dangerous battle for Sue Surf because Vixen the Assassin don't play, like she don't play with nobody. She knows how to rap very, very, very well. And she jumps into different pockets of flows where she's like unstoppable at times, especially in the female battle rap realm. And I said that if Surf was not gonna be prepared or not gonna take this one as serious as he took his last three to not take it at all. Now I didn't know he wasn't gonna fucking battle. Sue Surf is the first nigga, salute to, uh, let me get Shorty name right, you know what I'm saying? I don't like to just take somebody uh, tweet without giving them props. Salute to I.E. Bill Gates, a.k.a. William Enclosure. Oh, that was a dude, actually. He says, uh, URL really used Surf to sell two cards he not even going to be on. Shout out to Will. Used it. <laughs> this nigga sold out two venues he's not even going to be at. First and foremost, I hope everything is well with him. You know what I'm saying? His family, his business, his music, etc., etc. I don't want to wish anything like that. But at the same time, what is going on with Surf? Surf didn't battle against Cortez, and now he's not battling against Vixen. Now, I know he didn't battle versus Cortez. His man got cut. It's over. The battle's over. Like, y'all, there'll be still some niggas who'll be like, yo, he should have battled. They should. Bro, it's not going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's keep it real here. It ain't real here. Your nigga got stabbed before the battle, and you still here. Like, that shit is not gonna work well. A nigga used that shit as a whole fucking angle on you, and it won't go well. I actually did a blog called "What? Where the Hell Is Cortez vs. Sue Surf? As far as like the rematch and all of that. I'm still putting it out, because I recorded it. So in there, we might be talking about fixing this Assassin vs. Sue Surf, so when that comes out after this, don't, don't panic. I'm still putting the shit out. It is what it is. We still want Cortez vs. Sue Surf. Now back to Rock. Versus Vixen. Um, Vixen is still nice. She's dead nice. Wild fire. Now, the thing about Rock, Rock is an amazing name flipper. You know what I'm saying? Like he'll flip names, and he's got a lot of energy, and it's on a stage. It's on a stage. That's the only reason why 
I feel like Sue Surf would have did bigger and better in his performance versus her because there's a lot of crowd that ain't seen him on the stage in a while, you know what I'm saying, in a general public joint. I know the Drake joint had a little stage and they've been having little stages coming back, but a straight up, you can pay, get in, and see something in North Carolina, Sue Surf um, definitely would've got, I walked through so much, I got tall heels, he would've been able to do a thing. But back to Vixen, Vixen is dominant, man, one of the best, I think she's one of the best, if not the best, punch for punch, ball for ball female MC, doesn't lose battles often, does well against men. Um, she did have a couple, I had her losing versus C3, I felt like C3 was just more prepared and she was a super underdog to come in today and do what she did. Um, I had her losing to um, Loso. Yeah, I did have her losing to Loso. Loso is just a different type of pen. I did have her beating DNA though. You know what I'm saying? Like, so she she will, she can go to war. I've seen Vixen in one-on-ones. I've seen her in two-on-twos with, uh, she battled with Miss Hustle before versus Clean Paper in them. Uh, I've seen her a lot. Um, her versus uh, Casey J. Like, it's just, like, she just, she bodies shit. Like, she bodies bodies. She beat Casey J damn near 3-0. I'm, I'm just keeping it honest with you. If it wasn't, a, it was a 3-0. Fuck it. It is what it is. Um, so, when you jump a Vixen's way, you just know that she's not about to bullshit with you. Um, good cadence, good tone. I don't, if she freestyles, I don't know. I ain't really seen it. I've seen a lot of Vixen battles, but I don't think I've seen her really freestyle or really rebuttal like that. But it's not its not one of them things. You're battling Rock, who doesn't really do a lot of the same either. He's a line for line for line for line, get to the punch, you know, gun bar guy. And he does good at what he does, but he does it exceptionally well in front of crowds. You know what I'm saying? Rock is not the type of person that's going to be up there slipping and blipping, choking and joking, stumbling and fumbling. He's going to bring his A game. And like I said, from our conversation earlier, I was like, uh, he was very excited about his material and he's very ready. I'm like, are you hollow A-verb excited to where you know you're going to do good and you just can't wait for the material to be out there? He's bad news excited. If you saw Rock versus Bad News, he's bad news excited. He's not that bad. And he didn't play any games. So, pressure bust pipes, but... I do have a sample size of Rock in a short, short, short notice situation, which is him versus uh, him in chess versus Loaded Hollows. Um, I felt like they did very good in that battle. I felt it was a classic. They both was wild. Like to 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 have the pressure of the world on your shoulders, where Surf is not battling, and you're put in a position where you're thrusting into the spotlight. Like, well, so what you gonna do? People were saying, oh, he should take Av, he should take this person, he should take Briz, he should take this, he takes Chess. And Chess, who at the time was not where Chess is at right now. Like, Chess right now, it's like, cool, you know what I'm saying? Like, I guess, you know, his last battle, it was what it was, but he'll bounce back. But that murky period in between, he wasn't cooking like he is now. So, like, Rock took Chess and they put this together in a week. And they went crazy. Like, they, they really, really did their thing. So, um, my prediction in this, I'm going with Rock. Uh, you know, he's going to be prepared. He told me he's prepared now. So, to be prepared now and to just be in the final stages of the material, uh, just being ready to go in two weeks, like two weeks and you're already done, that's going to get crazy. Now you're just taking time to improvise, and you know what I'm saying? But, um... Vixen don't really get 30 that often, like 30-30, like she's so hard to beat. So when you're dealing with somebody who's hard to beat, and they got a lot of punches, a lot of material, they get crazy with you, she's got a good cadence, she can like really, really jump into different pockets of flow, she uses multi, she, like, it's the perfect female MC. Uh, the disadvantage for her going into it is to have to change her, channel her attention to someone else. You just had surf, and I'm sure you was in your bag right for him. But then you got a chance. Now, now the, the benefit of it is the, the, the discount is having to do that, like pick up a new MC, start again. The benefit of that is being able to use some of the, I ain't going to say some of the material, some of the ideas, thoughts, processes, and things like that for rock. They roll together, they gun titles together. If you had a haymaker using that, you know what I'm saying? You got the rock splashed over the wave, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got that, you know? Cool. Desi Cock. 
was you ready rock? I was ready like ready rock. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like he has, she has certain advantages, you know what I'm saying? But rock, like he uses the name flip. You know, he'll go line for line for line, line for line. Get your feelings hit. I hit a chick. Use the eagle to get rid of it. Like he uses so many of those lines back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But um, I definitely am looking forward to this joint. Uh, rest in peace to DJ K Slay. Um, and that's, you know what I'm saying, I got Rock 2 1 in that joint. Um, rest in peace, DJ K Slay from around the way. And I must say this because Slay was a guy who broke a lot of records. Like DJ, if you're, if you're here for the battle rap shit, you know what I'm saying? That was, I spoke about it. Slay broke a lot of records. Slay broke a lot of groups. Like, K-Slay broke a lot of groups. The Diplomats would not be the Diplomats without DJ K-Slay. Diplomats was running around Harlem. It was making music. Cam had had his first album on the Confessions of Fire joint. Then he came back with SDE. And he was just like a middle of the pack artist. Like, he really was not blowing up like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was, it was city cool. His music was not global. Um, he signed with Rockefeller, and he was doing, they started coming back with The Diplomat, Volume 1, Diplomats Volume 2, and then he had like Freaky Zeke, Jim Jones, Joel Santana, had all these artists that he was trying to break. And at the time, you kind of needed a cosign from New York, because New York was being taken over by G-Unit, you know, Fab was out there, the Locks was out there, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of DMX was blowing up. You had to have some kind of cosign that was going to really get you to the next level. And, you know, K Slay was a hell of a cosign because when K Slay was bubbling, DJ Clue was bubbling. DJ Clue was breaking artists and he was breaking sounds and breaking and doing his thing. But uh, when K Slay dropped, like, you would hear, warning, warning, the drama king is in the building, and he would break records like Ether. That's why him and Jay, Jay and, and K. Slay never saw eye to eye. And it was because K. Slay was behind breaking Ether. Like, the first time I ever heard Ether was on 125th Street at the uh, Jimmy Jazz, and it was, um, it was playing it out the speakers. Bam, bam, you love my style. Bam, 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 bam. And I'll never forget that. And it was like, yo, his record was so directed at Jay-Z. Like, Jay-Z had Ether, but Ether was, like, for a bunch of people. It was for Nas, and it was for Mob Deep. You Mob Deep, I pulled triggers to crew. Like, it was like a medley. Ether was straight to Jay-Z, line for line for line for line for line for line, bar for bar for bar for bar. For bar. And Jay-Z never did anything that would beat Ether. Super Ugly was not even a comparable record. You know what I'm saying? I could talk about that shit all day. But uh, when it comes to DJ K Slay, he broke a lot of artists. Uh, he put on for New York. And he was fucking with the battle rappers heavy. I would see uh, Shade 4 5 when they did the, the radio shows. I would see Bill Collect up there. Cortez was up there. K Shine, Shotgun Shug. Uh, I seen Queen of the Ring up there. Like so many artists and so many. He just put on and spread love and show love to so many people. And. Everybody might not have broke, like all these artists didn't break and didn't get big, but the fact that he was able to share his platform and let people come up there freestyle and just try to be able to make moves in the industry was amazing, you know what I'm saying? And to see K Slay leave at 55, you know what I'm saying? That's a young age. But uh, you know, rest in peace DJ K Slay. Uh, lastly, shout out to Iconic Bears one more time. Uh, you know, Bears handcrafted personally for your collection. IB, made in the USA, uh, IconicBears.com. Rock, is you ready, my nigga? Gang, gang.